Hello, this is a quick video to uh, briefly go over project creation in RStudio. At this point I'm assuming that you have R and RStudio installed. And so let's say we want to create a project for our first, uh, first topic in 267. So what I'm going to do, you, you can go to the project uh, tab on the menu bar or you can also click over here. Let's go to the project uh, menu tab and create a new project. I'm going to do a new project that's going to start in uh, a project in a new directory. I'm going to call this directory just topic one. And the uh, subdirectory, I'm going to put all of my files. Let me create a new uh, select somewhere and create a new uh, directory to keep all these project folders in and we'll call it CRP267-2000, not 2103, but 2013. Select that folder. Okay, so I have my topic one is my project directory name and I'm going to, that project is going to be in the subdirectory of my 267-2013 folder. So now I click create project and it goes ahead and it creates this and it's also note that the it's moved me into my 267 folder and into the topic one subdirectory and here's the project uh, itself in the files pane. Now over here in the console, let's say that we now want to start coding in this project. Uh, topic one, we'll be doing this in class. So we can go to the file menu, select new, select our script, and now we have a script window that's opened up in our project. So I'm just going to put a header on this file. We'll just say this is the topic one script file. So now let's go ahead and save this so I can go file and save. And you'll notice that when I go save, because I'm in a project, R Studio assumes that I want to save this file in my project folder. So notice that it's already uh, selected the path, so I can call this topic one underscore script and I can hit save and so now this is showed up in the file pane. This is my script file and here is uh, the file here. And so that, that's all I wanted to show for this video. Um, so now uh, let's, let's extend it one more minute before I stop is if we want to create a new project, we can just create project again, select a new project in the new directory, select topic two. We'll keep it in the 267 subfolder. Let's create the project. And what you'll see is that now we're in a new subdirectory. We're in the topic two subdirectory. And I actually can click back up this is the 267 folder and now I've got two folders, topic one and topic two, that correspond to these two projects. I can jump back and forth between the projects by um, coming up here to the recent project folder. I can click on topic one and it will switch me from topic two project to the topic one project. Give it a second to load here. It's, uh, It's a little error file of some kind. Anyway, so now I'm back in my uh, project right where I left off. It's brought me back. My script is open and uh, we're in this project. So now we can code, save things, and uh, we're just fine. That's all I've got for this video.